So, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the ship and of course the room since I'm already in here. So the room I have is, it is a balcony. Um, I did the king size bed so it's the two twins pulled together. As you can see the, um, the heart on the bed, you can see this is the last seated that we have. You get a big, 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 big LG screen TV over there. Excuse my mess right here. But you do have a front mirror and everything. That mirror actually lights up. Let me turn it on for you over here. So you do have that mirror that lights up. It's all my electronic stuff. I have batteries. Batteries in the GoPro, my sunglasses, all that stuff. And of course, the talk that I found. It wasn't hard to find out. As far as closet space, you have plenty of closet space. You've got that big mirror right there. Hey, how's everybody doing? Big closet space. I've noticed I've got tons of hangers in this room. Um, of course, the safe is down there. Got some baskets down there I haven't used. And of course, there's more closet space over here. So you can hand your stuff. Florida Panthers, number one. I'm a big Florida Panthers fan. Got to bring my jersey all the time. As far as the bathroom, we're going to walk into the bathroom right now. There I am, run one more time. The shower is awesome. Um, if I have to make a complaint, the water pressure can be a little bit better, but as far as space in here, it is... I feel like it's a little bit bigger. You see, I've noticed as the door pulls out, and it's great. Um, I think um, the only complaint I've had or I've heard, uh, especially on this cruise with ladies, complaining about that foot, that foot thing right there, that is in the wrong spot because the shower head's right there. So, like, they were all saying, oh, man, I'm going to get wet while I'm trying to shave, and the soap goes away, and blah, 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 and that they should have put it on this side instead of that side. As far as space in here, I'm not a big fan. It, it, it feels a lot tighter in here. Um, compared to like the other cruises I've been on on Carnival or the other ships I've been on on Carnival. So this does feel a little bit spacious. Not spacious. So it feels a little bit tight in here. Um, but it's alright. I mean, it's new. Can't complain too much. And like I said, it's a balcony. Excuse the mess. Here, come up to my table where I've got all my cables, wires, i got stuff charging. Um, you've got plenty of USB, USB ports, excuse my language. One there, you've got two there, two there, so that's four. And then you also have them on the bed. Um, you have one there, and you have the other one over there by the lights. These are actually lights that you can pull out. Um, it's pretty cool. They are bright. Um, cool little, um, this bed, uh, this couch actually does turn into a bed. As you can see the handle right there, it folds out so you can put more people, excuse my shoes over there. And like I said, this is a balcony, oh, you got more light over here, but it doesn't have a USB. And this is a balcony. Like I said, I'm on 12, 504. So I'm on the 12th floor. I'm on the aft side. I'm on the aft, so I'm on the back and I'm on the port side. So port side, so if you're looking forward towards the ship, I'm on the left hand side, and this is the balcony you get. Looks like we're coming into uh, bad weather on this bad day. It's the last day. This is it. Ooh, that was lightning, nice. So you do get your two chairs and your table. nice and the other thing I also noticed on these newer ships that they don't have uh, light on here out here so there's no light out here so at night it is dark um, I did see this but there's no I'm guessing that's for emergency only use but I didn't see a switch for that or well, I haven't found the switch for that anyways doors are real easy to open that's your lock that's your open and then you slide it so once you put it on to the, uh, ooh, man, I haven't heard lightning in a while um, on a cruise. Oh, look at that. Background noise. 
But once you do that, it's locked up. Close up the door and close it. And that's it. This is uh, like I said. This is twelve five zero four. I'm on the aft side, which is aft means the back side of the ship. Um, and I'm on a balcony, so balcony on the port side. All right, nice LG screen, pretty big. And the lighting's pretty cool. So they do have the new AC. Um, of course, when I sleep, I love the cold. Um, if anything, you just push this button and go straight to cold and you have your switches. Now, this is funny. Um, I always leave a card there. This time, the only card I have was a Boston Market, um, Boston Market uh, gift card. I had it in my wallet, so I just threw it in there. And these are your light switches. All right, as I come out, oh, like I said, I'm on the rear, rear port side. Uh, just make sure I have my card. I did decorate my door just to, I do it as a uh, find of my door, but no, got a little holiday over here. Um, I normally don't stay by the, um, by the elevators, but this is where I'm coming up to. Best carbon cabin stewardess in the world over here, Murda. Thank you. He's been doing a great job for me today. Always asking me if I'm okay, but he does a great job, so I don't need anything from him. So he's been doing a good, he's been doing a great job this whole ship. Thank you. So he's the best, okay. man. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. So I'm going to use the elevators here, which I normally don't use. I just walk up because I'm on the 12th floor. So it's a little bit different on these ships. The Lido deck normally is on the 9th floor. 9th floor. So you hear when you get off the elevator, 9th um, floor Lido deck. But here, no, it's on the 16th floor. So 16 is going to be your Lido deck over here. And I think I want you to notice is a look at the floor I'm on. I'm on 12, so these are all the cabins. On the cabins, um, if you're on a cabin floor, the whole floor is carpeted. So that's what happens when you're on a carpet. So I'll show you the difference. I'm gonna go upstairs and hopefully you'll see it there because I don't remember on the on the on the cabins over here. There's your lead, Everybody correct. Your lead, cruise your cruise director's up on. Unfortunately, Mother Nature had other plans and we did get washed out by a passing storm. However, I need to say thank you so much to those guests that donated today. If you would like to make a donation to St. Jude, you can do so at Cherry on Top, the candy store on next day. So, there's your cruise director, Lee. He's up on the, uh, on the spot. So, we are passing some bad weather. So I apologize for anything. Um, so I am starting on the app side. Um, I am going to teach you a trick. So if you come up to the doors. Oh, hold on. I'll wait till Lee finishes over here. I'll be back later with a full rundown of our evening program. But if you would like to donate for St. Jude, you can do so at Cherry on Top. So that was Lee, our cruise director. Um, he's supposed to be like the number one cruise director. He's a great guy. Uh, great voice, gave everything. Um, so when you're coming up to these doors, you notice a little green dot right there. If you can't open the door, just touch your finger on it and the door will open. So I'm on the aft side. This is one of the first, um, one of the first, what do they call these? These, um, well, I'm out of words here. So you got one of these pools. So you have two, a pool and two jacuzzis out here. 
And like I said, I apologize for the bad weather. That's what happens when you go back to Miami. You get the bad weather. Boo. But you got one of these. There it is. The infinity pools. So this is on the lower level. This is on 16. There is another one down below. And I'll show you that one. But you have one of the infinity pools. And you've got two jacuzzis on this floor. So I'm still on 16, 16 aft, which is on the rear ship. You're gonna find Big Chicken, which is Shaq's Big Chicken. They do serve breakfast here, and they do serve lunch here too. Um, as you can notice later on the cruise, the line is really short. At the beginning of the cruise, this line was super long. We just go out to, or we go all around, all the way to the Tides Pool, uh, Tides Pool Bar, which is on my right hand side. But this is Shaq's Burger. Now, I'm not gonna say my opinions, but you got Shaq's and you've got Guy's Burger. I don't know. What I did is I did a mix of two. And if you've seen my pictures, you'll see the mix of two. I'm walking over to the starboard side and where you're gonna see Tide's Pool. This is the Tide's, not Tide's Pool, but the Tide's Bar, excuse me. I don't know why I keep saying Tide's Bar. Tide's Pool, sorry. This is Tide's Bar. You'll also find, right by Tide's Bar, you'll find one of the few ice cream shops over here. And of course, a million hand washing stations, which I love about this ship. They have tons of hand washing stations. And of course, the Marketplace, which is their Lido deck. So I know a lot of the cruisers that have been on Carnival, um, you're used to the ninth floor. No, on the 16th floor is where you're gonna find what we call the Lido deck. So I'm gonna rock, I'm walking on the port side now of the Lido deck. What I do like about this ship, oh. what I do like about this ship is that they have a lot of seating. And you're gonna notice a lot of seating on the ship. Another trick that I'm gonna give you guys so that you know what to do. Always come to the back of the ship. Like if you come for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whatever, and come to this side on the aft or back side of the ship because this is always gonna be not as packed because everybody for some reason tends to go to the front. But you'll find here. Right now, what time is it? It is three o'clock, so I think they're doing the change between lunch and and dinner, so they're getting set up. So everything's closed right now. But there is tons of seating over here. Plenty of seating. Like I haven't had an issue. It's supposedly this ship is packed and I haven't had an issue finding a seat to sit down to have lunch or breakfast in the mornings. And right now I'm on the port side. This is the other side, the front side or the other side of the where you can grab food and stuff like that. Like I said again, your best bet is as far as what I've been noticing is just go to your front. Go to the front. No, oh, my phone's going off. Go to the, when you go to the front, it's always packed, I don't know why, but if you go to the back part of the ship here in the Lido deck, you will find um, there's less people. So it's easier to get your food and stuff like that. And like I said, there's tons of seating. I'm just on the port side. So I'm on the left-hand side of the ship going towards the front. And there's tons of seating. Right here would be your, this would be the, uh, the center or the middle elevators. So you find the middle elevators and middle staircase. Tons of space. So this is the new thing I had to get used to. So they don't have the tea, uh, the Red Frog Pub. They have the Red Frog T. 
tiki bar and this is it it's two floors of it i'm on the bottom floor right now oh look it looks like it rained and this is the bottom floor of it and you can tell it rained because it's empty and it's funny too because everybody's in their bathing suit in the pool as soon as it rains they all disappear that's like why would they do that but anyways this is the lower level of tiki bar i'm gonna pull back just a little bit and you can see that there's two levels over there is no pub there is no red frog pub on this ship it's called the red frog tiki bar and they have two levels the menu has also changed the menu has completely changed on it so check out that menu when you come on board i'll try to post it up i think i took a picture of it um actually there's nobody sitting here so i'll just turn it around So the menu has changed on it. So it's not your regular red, red frog pub. Next to the tiki bar on the on the 16th level, you'll have your towel. So if you need to get extra towels or that for the bar, or when you want to sit in the pool, you can do that. So now I'm walking across the middle portion of the 16th, 16th floor. You've got your pool, you got your showers. It's actually pretty nice. Like I said, if we just went through some bad weather, so it rains, so of course everybody disappears. You have one of the, and I don't know, I lost count of how many jacuzzis they have here. But that's what you have here. On the port side, on the 16th for food, you have the blue iguana. My favorite spot for the morning, so you have your uh, breakfast burritos, but they have also tacos, and they also have arepas. And then for lunch, um, you have your tacos and and your tacos and your burritos for lunch too. It's closed right now because they're doing the change right now. On the starboard side, you will have the seafood shack. Seafood shack is not included, so you do have to pay for this. Um, but they have different types of menu things over here. Um, you'll notice this on different ships and stuff like that. They do have this. It's a little bit smaller, but um, this one you do have to pay for. Different menu and all that. So these three over here are supposed to be like street foods. Like if you're going to a, a food truck, you have your time fries, your steam dream, and your mad sizzle. These are included. You can get, these are for free. You can include it. Time fries is pretty cool. They change the menu every day. So the menu changes every day. Um, so this is your menu for today. Today's the uh, last sea day. So this is what they had. They had a different menu. I saw it yesterday. It's pretty good. Steam dream. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they got the dumplings. I have to check this out. Um, so you have your dumplings. They, again, uh, I think yesterday they had like egg rolls and stuff like that. But these are your dumplings. Um, like I said, they changed the menu, but this is included. So you don't have to pay for this. And you got your lomo saltado. Wow. And your matches look today. So different menus, different days. And like I said, once again, you need to check these out. These are little small snacks. So if you're not too hungry for lunch, a good spot to go, get something small, grab something to eat. And like I said, it is included. Uh, it is included with your, um, on the cruise. You don't have to pay for it. And again, like I said, the seafood shack is not included. You do have to pay for this. I'm still walking forward towards the ship. Like I said, with these doors, a little secret. If it doesn't open, there's a little green dot right there. You just hit it and it, it'll open up for you. So 16 Ford is mostly decks. So I will go down. Uh, so I'll be heading down. Actually, I'll turn around and head back up. to the 17th floor. So let me make a U-turn here. These are all decks up this way. I 
right now I'm gonna hit the 17th floor. So now I'm heading up to the 17th floor. I'm gonna take the steps up this way. I am now on the port side. Port side of the 17th floor. So I'm gonna walk to the forward part of the ship. On the forward ship, forward part of the ship, we're gonna find the Serenity. That uh, the loft area, the loft you do have to pay for it. Uh, once I get it to Saturday, I'll talk more about it. But we're walking into Serenity. Serenity, 18 and over, if I'm not correct. In here, you have your Serenity bar, and they also have a salad bar. I think it's during lunch. I don't know if I'll see it, but we'll go into it. On the top, you will see the loft, but I'll talk more about that right now. You have plenty of jacuzzis here on the Serenity. Got some towel animals. great people who work here on the carnival if it wasn't for them i mean i don't know what to tell you the customer service here is great and these guys do ladies and gents do a great job love it even on hard days like that but it's super windy so on this serenity you have the little pool and i was talking about they have that salad bar or they call it fresh creations salad your way and you'll find it right here during the lunchtime hour, I'm already past because it's already 3, it's gonna be 315. And this is the Serenity Bar. Now I'll talk about that pool that's up above. We'll get that to a second. Over here you'll have the Serenity Pool. This is the first time I'm up here and it's quiet, but there's nobody up here. to me I was walking around with a bunch of people and they were saying it's, it's not as close as to the uh, to the slides so you don't hear the kids screaming which is actually true it's far away from the slides and um, it's actually pretty quiet I'm actually there's nobody here like I said it rained we have had bad weather or we got into bad weather so of course the rain scares everybody even though everybody's in their uh, swimsuits and everything And the Serenity looks up the front. It's beautiful up here. I've got a couple of photos over here. Look, we got another carnival ship coming, crossing our path. I gotta see my phone to see who that is. It's got a wheel tail, so it's not the freedom. <laughs> but it's nice up here. I'm gonna try to see if I can get permission to get up on the loft. Most likely I won't. Um, can't promise you anything. The loft is uh, it's an up a charge. You do have to pay for that. Um, it depends on the day and stuff like that. But I've been hearing it's like $500 for the day. You get your own area. I think it comes with like fruits and a bottle of uh, champagne or wine or something like that. And it does come with that. I'll see if I can try to get up there. But I can't promise you anything. Like I said, loft is a whole private thing up there. So that pool I was just talking about. Let me move back on it is up there so you can see the cabanas they have cabanas and stuff like that and that's actually the loft pool that's on the top that you see up there and like i said i have to get permission to go up because i didn't pay for it to go up there but if i get it i get it
Here's another jacuzzi that they have, or hot tub, sorry, let me stop using jacuzzi. Here's another hot tub that they have here um, that you can use, and they have that too. So there's two hot tubs and a pool in the Serenity. Let me see, because I haven't gone up to, because I, I didn't pay the money for that. But let me see if I can get up there you guys I'll come back this way okay so this is the loft area so this is gonna be on the 18th floor they actually allowed me to come in I can't go to the starboard side because they have they do have people here but this is what it looks like up here you do have to pay extra for this but it does come with advantage and stuff like that and this is what the cabanas look like and everything And the reason it's kind of empty because it did rain, um, so we do have bad weather. And I don't want to cause problems up here because they did actually give me access to it. This is the pool that I was just showing you. Um, has <laughs> the window on the back. Um, this is it right there. And I'm gonna have to come out the same way I came in, so I can't show you the starboard side because there are customers over there. There are sorry, not customers. Uh, cruisers over there and I don't want to you know be showing on my camera and stuff like that but this is what it looks like up here like I said these are private cabanas so you do have to pay extra for this I think the folks on the presidential suite I don't know I was hearing a little rumor here and there the uh, presidential suite or um, uh, what do they call the big suites here on these uh, cruises is it the captain suite they have those here so I think you have access to if you have that suite, you can, um, you can do your uh, just chill up here. But like I said, these do cost extra, um, and I'd like to thank the staff again for Carnival Cruise Line uh, for letting me in up here. You know, I'm, I'm just staying where I'm supposed to be staying, and it was awesome for them. There you go. There's the view of the pool. Serenity's on the bottom. Again, thank you for the. Carnival Cruise for letting me come up here and just show you guys um, what it looks like up here. Yeah, I can't stay up here. I ain't got that money. But it is nice up here. It's a lot quieter up here. And like I said, there's a lot more stuff that is included when you stay up here. And that is your Loft 19 of the name of the year. Up here, it's locked 19. Now I'm gonna walk myself downstairs. I am gonna stay on the port side and I'm gonna walk towards the aft of the ship and then come back around. Excuse the wind, I said we're going through it some bad weather as you can see through the video. So back here, like I said, I'm on the 17th, 16th is where I'm going to head now because I have to take those stairs down to get back up on the 17th. And there you can see the uh, big old screen. They had to cancel uh, St. Jude's today and they moved it down to the candy shop because of the bad weather. So this is the second deck. This is the second deck of the Red Frog Tiki Bar. We're on the 17th. So this is our 17th, which is up here. I got my buddy Ramon up here. Also, you'll find him in the Alchemy Bar. Um, Tabor is also a great, great bartender up here too. And this is the second level of the Tiggy Bar. This guy right here, I can't stand him, but I have to see him all the crews. All he drinks is Red Stripe all day, and that's all he does all ship. It's horrible. But he's a good guy overall. The nectar, <laughs> the nectar of beers. But he's all, all, he's all great. Another group I found in the, in the group. They're all up here. We just finished the Alchemy Bar Mixology Club. Mixology Club. Mixology class. I can't even say it right because I think I'm, I don't know if I'm walking straight. We're not. <laughs> it 
was good. But that key lime, that key lime uh, drink was on spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little thing on this boat. So what he does is he goes around the whole cruise and he gets a signature from all the... Um, oh, we don't want the Costa. I'm oh, sorry. I wasn't supposed to say that. Um, he goes around... <laughs> He goes around all the bars and gets a signature from all the bartenders that he goes to. <laughs> no, it's the Casa leaning over. <laughs> so this is the Red Frog Tiki Bar, which took over the Red Frog Pub. So you're not going to find the Blue Iguana or anything like that that way. So I'm going to stay on the... Oh, here you go, you're good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna stay on the port side. Still on the port side. So over here is your guy's burger. If I also find ice cream shop, drinks, if you need your juices, water, or whatever it is. A little small one. But this over here is your guy's burger. For those who know about the guy's burger. It's actually pretty big because you have tons of seating over here, which is pretty cool day like this which is a little bit cooler it's not too hot but this is the um, guys burger over there they got the uh, what I call the Disney Disney World line going back but right now it's light because it's not 12 o'clock at 12 o'clock this gets packed hint hint what time not to come through here and you get to make your orders there's your toppings table or toppings bar and you'll find all that stuff here. Kid enjoys it. There's a lot of hand washing stations, which is pretty cool too. Not only do they have the, um, what do they call that? The, the, the alcohol swabbing, whatever you want to call it. But they also have the hands, uh, hand washing stations over here. They've got plenty of them. Also up here, you're going to find the O2 Club. So I'm going to get this totally wrong. I think the O2 Club is for the older kids. So it's going to be for the teenagers. Um, can't go in there, of course, but it's pretty sweet. Um, the way I've, what I've seen. Um, the only reason I say it's pretty sweet, so, uh, you'd have to watch other videos. I, I see if I can pop it up, but they have other stuff going in there. But what's pretty cool about it, I'm getting up to it right now. Is that they got this outdoor thing? This is pretty cool. I mean, for the teenagers, just to chill out out here. That's where I've seen a lot of adults just chill in here because they haven't seen anybody. But like I said, Club 02, 15 to 17. So your your older kids over here, and they got a little sweet chill out spot. But I've, like I've seen, I've seen adults coming through here, and they've just been chilling on that corner. But it's pretty, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm still on the port side. And now I'm coming to the rear rear of the ship, the aft, not the rear of the aft. And they got more seating. There's a lot of seating on this ship. Um, I'll show you later on too when we go downstairs, um, the, the amount of seating they have so where you can just sit down and have a good time and just chill like I said that's up to me when I come up to these cruises I like to sit down and chill overlooking there's the rear all right so just to let you know this 17 uh, 17th floor aft on the starboard side is your smoking side so this is be your smoking side I've had a couple cigars over here but I have mine in a couple minutes but it's actually pretty big uh, we got another carnival ship out there. <coughs> Gotta pull out my phone to see who they are. But this is your smoking section over here. It's actually pretty big. I'm still in the smoking section. Still in the smoking section. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Ooh. I wonder what class. I have to look on my phone and see what ship that is. Won't be able to zoom into that one. 
but I'll let you guys know later on. I'll post it up on the video to see what ship that was. That's actually passing us over there. I don't think you guys can see it. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see it because my I'm on the GoPro, so I don't know. It won't zoom. That's it. Looks like what we call it? not the glory class. What do they call it? the um, then that same class of glory? Could be the sunrise. And that was the end of the smoking section. Now we're coming up to the starboard side, deck 17. And these stairs that we're coming up to, I'm gonna head up that way. I'm gonna show you deck 18. I gotta take out my phone to figure out what cruise ship is that. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. track over here i'm already going this way i'm way too much over here they're all setting up rules and over here so this is what you're going to find in deck 18 up here like i said mini golf we got the sports court ropes course waterworks and the mini golf uh waterworks is your where the kids would play with water and stuff like that i'll show you when you come up because of the weather they're gonna have the ropes course closed this one's actually pretty cool it's got a part on the ropes course uh, i'll see it when i come back the other side but it looks like they have a um right there it's like you're zip lining out in the water and i think it's right there and it's actually pretty cool i can't show you because of the weather killed it for us but yeah that's it that's where they quote unquote zip line and that's part of it right there ah, the infamous no not infamous the famous whale tail the joke going around this is what you look like when you come after a cruise <laughs> and of course the tracks that you find on top of me is going to be the bolt the bolt's going to be closed also too because of the weather uh no i haven't gone on it yet let me see if i can go on later on let's see if the weather but no i haven't gone on it but i've seen people come through it and you can hear when people go through it th going through it too what i'm going on it right now is also the jogging track as you can see the blue lanes in front of me blue lane in front of me and over here is the kids you got the water slides and you also have the kids a uh, little water park for the bolt is going to be on the starboard side on deck 18 i'll get to that over there this is your putt putt course or your mini golf Pulling out my phone, cheating over here. I'm gonna use a uh, cruise mapper over here. Cruise ship tracker. You should tell me what exactly ships right next to us. 
Over here is going to be the entrance for the bolt. The bolt. To use the bolt, you would have to sign into your uh, the hub, and you would set your appointment for it. I apologize right now. I'm trying to figure out what ship is right next to us. Heading the other way, which I don't see it on my cruise mapper. Oh, Carnival Sunrise, look at that. So that is the Carnival Sunrise. I found out already, Carnival Sunrise. Sorry, I apologize for that. So I was on my cruise mapper, and that is a Carnival Sunrise that's all the way up. I don't be able to be able to see it. I was actually on that ship back in March. But this is the entrance for the bolt. The bolt, you have to set it up on your um, Carnival Hub, and that's how you set your appointment and stuff like that. It is $15, $15 to get on the bolt but right now we can because of the weather and this is what it looks like over here so everything's closed right now so what the guy's saying behind me is uh, he's explaining that we still have spots because of the weather i said that's why the reason it's not running i haven't done it yet maybe i'll push the button but like i said it's 15 dollars um, to get on the Carnival Bolt on the Carnival Celebration. So now I'm on the port side, no, starboard side. I'm on the starboard side, got extra seating over here. And I'm coming back to the basketball courts. And again, you can see up there, but everything's closed right now because of the weather. The weather just went, the weather went bad on us. But I'm on the starboard side right now. They're really taking this cornhole, especially. I like must have a bet going on over here. So now I'm gonna go back down to 16. No, sorry, 17. And back there is the serenity, which I just walked. Sunrise, they just started their cruise. They're going down south. Lucky them, I want to do it again. And I'm on mid shift. And I'm going to cheat and I'm going to take the elevators down to the eighth floor. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 are all cabin. Are all cabin suites. So I'm going to mess with these guys again. Come around over here. Just to mess with them. He's just chilling here, having his red, his red strap again. They're in. That's all he has. We just watched the sunrise go by. Sunshine, no, I didn't. Sun. No, sunrise. It was the actual sunrise. Sunrise. Out of Miami. Ramon's just looking at me over here, like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Ramon just needs a break. That poor man's been working so hard. Great guy. Big time oh, guy. What if he wasn't a great guy? We just stand there going, Phil well, Nassau, you know, nice guy. But you know, he's just standing smiling. <laughs> That's right. I think he's upset because Argentina won. Or is it you're upset because Argentina Oh no, he's upset because Argentina won. <laughs> oh, he's that one. They're upset because Argentina won. We're <laughs> going for France. I would going for anybody but Argentina. <laughs> I'm English. We hate both of them for different reasons. But France don't cheat like Argentina. Hey, give, give, give this guy some French wine so he calm down. <laughs> you start, yeah, you <laughs> All right. So, like I said, go back this way. Um, I am now midship. These are the mid elevators. You have your forward middle and aft elevators um, elevators are pretty quick here sometimes i think the only time they're they take too long is when they uh, i think they're trying to tell me to uh take the stairs but i've been taking the stairs so now like i said um oh there we go like i said that's how quick it was i just hit the button
Four. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that smells so good. Nice. <laughs> Decade. So, like I said before, when you come into a deck that's not full of cabins, you're going to see the tile floor. So, there's a tile floor right there. I am on midship. So, that's you'll see right here. Uh, I'm going to take a little shortcut this way. I'll come back up that way. So, I'm going to turn back around. This area right here is pixels. Everything on this ship uh, is digital. So Pixels is a digital, which is pretty cool. You don't have to deal with paper anymore, like I did on my uh, Sunrise and on the Pride, which I was getting uh, paper pictures. This is all Pixels of it. I'll come back up this way once again. As I come in, I am coming to the 820, or as I keep saying, the 805, but it's called the 820. This game, this is the, uh, what do they call this? Um, montage to Miami so it's reminding me of home so you have that here's from Miami you have Cucina de Capitano um, the restaurants over here this restaurant is included it is included as part of your dinner so you don't have to pay extra like you do on the other ships all the XL ships which is Mardi Gras uh, Carlos Carnival Celebration and whenever it comes out, the Carnival Jubilee, these will be included as part of your dinner. So coming down 820 Biscayne, which is supposed to be the Miami look for it. Um, you're gonna find bar 820, a lot of cocktails. Adam over here messing around with me, <laughs> getting a sandwich, and I'll show you where to get those. Um, but this is the bar. A 20 martinis so on this ship um I'm, I'm gonna say it right now i'm a big alchemy bar fan but bars like this bar a 20 latitudes jubilee and alchemy it's just a big competition but i'll leave it up to you guys to decide which one's the best one but this is one of the first bars that i when i as soon as i got on the ship this is what i had over here cocktails and stuff like that it was the first bar i went to that was really good as we continue on this floor, we're on the eighth floor, walking towards the aft. This is where you're gonna find Miami Slice, your pizza slices, uh, pizza, all the way till four o'clock in the morning, pepperoni, uh, La Habana, which is with ham, chorizo, gouda, your picadillo. Let me see it right there. I apologize for the lights. It's gonna be flickering, but that's the new LED lighting that we're using on here. Plenty of seating out here, plenty of seating outside. I'll go outside in a second. You'll find next up is the Deli Deco. So you have your regular deli choices, your tur turkey, tuna, caprice, grilled ham and cheese, the Reuben meatball, and the Cubano. Cubano should be on this one. But what they added was the croqueta sandwich, the pan con lechon, bocadilla salamera. Oh, I said that wrong. I'm gonna get yelled at. The Americano, el Americano, and the carne. We're here for the holidays because it is December. Next up is the Sea Grill. This one you do have to pay for. It's not included. Um, there is your menu. And this is Rudy's Sea Grill, which is also found on the 8th. Like I said, once again, this one's not included. You do have to pay for this one, like the steakhouse. Um, oh shit, this is the first time I actually walk in here. And this is what it looks like in here. They also have outdoor seating on, on off the Seagro. And I'll show you that in a second once I walk outside, but they do have outside seating for it. Coming up is Carnival Adventures. This is where you huh? sign up for your excursions. Uh, anything with your excursions to do with Carnival, this is where you do it. Everything's digital, so you're reusing those iPads instead of it. Of course, <coughs> excuse me, the famous guest services. <coughs> of course, actually the line's pretty short here, but this is guest services. It's actually pretty big for this ship. Normally they're normally smaller, but this is the guest services here in, on deck eight. 
Excuse me. <coughs> Summer Landing. So this is where you're gonna find guys. Um, oh, I totally forgot the name of it. The guys, uh, pig and anchor, <coughs> where you get to eat and stuff like that. Now, the reason why this is so packed right now is because they have the games going on, football games. I'll go in there right now. You also find the carnival store. Here you'll find everything with carnival celebration. <coughs> as far as t-shirts, cups, sippy cups shot glasses, all that for the carnival celebration. Pins. This all has to do with the carnival celebration here. <laughs> As I come into the Pig and X, like I said, this is packed because it's Sunday. And of course you got these football games going on. And they let them all on TV. Is the reason why this bar is packed. Here you're gonna find your different type of beers and stuff like that. Uh, they have the brewery in the back, as you can see in the back. Um, my favorite drink on here is gonna be the Lynchburg, the uh, Lynchburg lemonade. It's actually really good. Of course, people yelling. Football game. Dallas Cowboys, go figure. <laughs> this is crazy, crazy, crazy during the football games. So over here, you're gonna find your breakfast. Um, so here's a hidden hidden uh, secret over here. If you wanna get away from the lines and stuff like that from breakfast in the mornings, Get away from the um, the Lido deck or from anywhere else. They do actually serve breakfast here. So you can come down here, have breakfast. This is actually empty during breakfast. So come down here during breakfast if you want to be away from the crowd and stuff like that. It's everything they serve upstairs. That's a little hidden, hidden gem and it's, like I said, it's empty. Right now it's not empty. Uh, football game's going through. You got the, what is it? Um, holy. We got so many screens going on. So you got, uh, I got uh, Kentucky, uh, sorry, whatever. You got Houston, um, you, so many games going on right now. They also serve lunch here too. So they got the uh, smokehouse lunch and then dinner. They also serve dinner here. Dinner is included. It is also included. You come here, you come up to the front where I just went. Yeah, it's about a 20 minute wait. And actually, I wasn't expecting the greatest thing of life, but I did the uh, two meats or whatever it is. I had a, uh, was it yesterday? And it was actually really good compared to other ships. Um, so like I said, dinner is included um, down here at the, uh, the smokehouse. The guys, guys, Ferrari, 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 the smokehouse. They also have live bands going on over here at night. They also have country music going on too. So they have country music going on and stuff like that on here too. Like I said, if you've noticed all the TVs on my uh, screen, there's different games going on. I'm coming up to the hero section. This is all, um, this is all contributed to all the uh, Ladies and gentlemen that serve, thank you very much. Hold on. I don't want to block people from watching the game. So let me walk back around. Like you see, this is Sunday game over here. So this is why this is packed. So over here you have the bigger screens. Look at that. They have two games going on in the front over there. Over here where they're leaning over, you'll have that truck over there where they have ice cream and stuff like that. So you can have the self-serve ice cream and stuff like that over there. Bunch of Cowboys fans out here. Oh, nothing but Cowboys. Uh, uh, I don't know why, but. 
But yeah, this is why it's packed. It's Sunday, like I said, so you got the Sunday games going on. Going on over here. Like I said, if you're trying to get through the doors. Oh look. She's she's got the she's got the, the special thing for it. I don't. There we go. Thank you. And this is going to be your second infinity pool, which is on the eighth floor. So you have your infinity pool out here. And I am going to start from... <clears throat> where am I? The port side? Port side. So I'm walking towards the port side. Like I said, we have had bad weather, as you can tell by the clouds up there. And I'm walking around towards the port side. Excuse the wind. I, hopefully this mic will help out. Over here you'll have the outdoor pig and anchor, which you'll find on all ships over here. You'll have this open during lunch. Um, you'll have your meats, your side, side, and stuff like that. That is on the ships. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you again, but the dinner was great. Uh, I think I like the dinner better than they have what they have. Then you'll have your seating area. So this is the back side, if I'm not correct, of the Havana Club. Um, the Havana Club, I'll show you guys in one second walk in. No, it's not the Havana Club. Day four. Totally forgot what was in there, but another area. I'll figure it out. But it's all closed off. They don't really have it open. Oh, I'm sorry. Havana Club's over there, kind of in front. Or not in front, but on the other side. Ah, I'll show you. I'll show you the Havana Club because we're, we're actually going to be going on. I can't go into the Havana Club, but there's a little hidden secret over here. Back in here is the um, where they have all the games and everything, the arcade games and stuff like that. Do they? No, the shops. That's the jewelry shops over here. Walking back aft, same way I was. See, we went into bad weather. It actually feels great because it's not hot. Which sucks for people who have to uh, suntan, but uh, both not shaking as much as earlier today. Or earlier during the cruise, the cruise it was it was shaking. I don't feel it as much. I've got my uh, sea legs, so. I don't have to worry about it too much. And again, walking through the sea, Rudy's Sea Grill. This is the outdoor portion of it. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Is if you want to eat outside instead of inside, you can eat outside. There are plenty of tables here. Enjoy your meal at night. It must be pretty under the stars. And again, I'm walking through uh, Guy Fur, like nobody says. 
but a uh, guy's smokehouse. Which on the other side is your pick and anchor smokehouse. my steps in today so now I'm back on the aft side of the ship this is gonna be your like I said your second it's gonna be your second infinity pool and there it is I think it's closed now because they saw lightning On the oh, now you're confused. on the starboard side. Now you're gonna have jacuzzi out here. You got one out here, and you have another one. Sorry for the wind. It's windy now. I have to hold my hat. This is the watering hole, which is on the opposite side of the bar 820. So this is on the opposite side of 820. So 820 is actually right behind us through the wall and stuff like that. Which is cool about this bar is because I'm coming up to the smoking section and as I'm coming up to the smoke section, it's going to be the closest bar to the smoking section compared to deck 17. You have to actually go one down to the tides bar to get your drinks and stuff like that. Oh, that's you use one of the servers, but you have to kind of wait because like I said, the, um, that deck is pretty big for the smoking section. More cornhole. Oh, actually, I just lied. Wait. Sorry. Repeat that. The watering hole is behind the, uh, the pig and does pig and anchor. The bar I'm coming up to, that's the one behind the 820. Sorry. And this is going to be your smoking section. We're coming up to the smoke section right now. And this is the bar. There it is, bar 820. I should have just read it. And as we're coming closer, this is going to be the bar that's going to be closest to a smoking section. I'm just going to pull this side to be a generous person so all these people can come through. But so far, as far as the smoking sections, um, this will be the bar closest to it. This is bar 820, which is the outside portion of it. Oh, sorry about that. And over here is the other smoking section. So this will be deck eight, where you can find the other smoking section. It's a little bit smaller than deck 17, their smoking section. Um, but like I said, this one, the advantage of this one, it has the bar real close right there. As I continue to the end, that pool right up ahead, that is gonna be the Havana Suites. Or the Vatican Club, or whatever they want to call it, and that's the section. I won't be able to go through there because I'm not part of the Havana Club or Havana Suites, but that's their pool and everything on that side. I apologize again for the weather. Eh, typically going back to Miami. So I'm going to cut back inside to the uh, Deck 8. There's one of our captains here. No, just kidding. Not a captain. And I'm going to cut back to Deck 8 inside. It's pretty cool. So all the doors have these things on it. Just wave your hand on it. And the door opens. Again, like I said. Wave your hand. And the door opens. Three drinks on me! 
Now I'm walking towards the front of the ship, or forward, just past the 820. Once again, this is the Pixels area. Sorry for the moment, I'm trying to get my backup battery up just in case this battery goes out. This is the Pixels area. Where you can get your pictures, all the pictures you've taken with Carnival, if you want to buy a GoPro. Together. Everything's digital, it's no longer paper, so everything's digital right now. Now, this is center stage, so I'll talk about a little more about this. It looks like there's a show about to start, but I'll talk a little more about this as we go further down on the, um, on the floors. Over here is Effie, your uh, jewelry store. There's an event going on. Also over here, you're gonna find your center elevators on deck eight. Like I said, remember if you're on tile, you're not on cabin floors, you're on a, I don't know what you wanna call these floors. But this is Effie. The event must have uh, just finished because everybody's getting out. Next to Effie on deck eight, you're gonna find Bonsai. This is your Bonsai Sushi. This place is great for sushi. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking me, oh, but you're out on the ship. The sushi can't be that. No, the sushi is great. It is awesome. It is priced spectacular. Um, they do have like wasabi and so, oh, wait, I got a menu right here. So you actually, when you order food, you take a pencil and you write down everything you want or circle everything you want. It is one of the best sushis that I've had, period. Overall, it's on top. And we're on the ship, and it's actually pretty good. Next time, next door is uh, uh, Bonsai tip, Tipanyaki. So this is your, let's see if I can. Oh, I got kicked out of here. But this is your, um, your Benihana's, like you wanna say. For your samurai if you're from south florida and this is where they cook in front of you um this is not included also on the ship uh you do have to pay extra for this and this is where they the chefs cook in front of you and stuff like that also bonsai before i forget is not included like i said because you do have to pay for it but like i said the sushi is great it is awesome it is well worth the price we are continuing oh, we're still on the eighth this is center stage, like I said, I'll talk more about it as we get into the seventh floor, and I'll talk more about it. These stairs lead you to the casino, literally lead you to this casino, and once we get to the seventh floor, I'll talk more about the casino and stuff like that. It's one of the walkways. Coming over to the right of me is the Dream Studio. It's part of the pixels. These are the like the personal pictures. Like if you want to take your specialty pictures and stuff like that, this is where you would go. They have their own little studios and stuff like that compared to like walking out to, to um, right in front of me is the Havana bar. I haven't hit it yet. I gotta hit it. And I'm coming to, they have live band and it's all uh, Spanish music, bachata, merengue, salsa. They were playing all this music. Oh, actually, I can open. Maybe I should just get a drink now. But this is the Havana bar. Ugh. Looks like I'm hit with these copyrighted music, but all right, it's all right. But this is Havana bar, but they have live music at night. I've come in here before with live music and it's, it's awesome. Havana Bar, Deck 8, front of the ship, forward. Another restaurant that is also included in your meals, Shebang. It's a Chinese-Mexican cuisine, it's a mix. Um, it's actually really good. Um, the Mexican was better than the Chinese. Uh, I think the only thing we're missing with the Mexican was adding uh, 
adding rice to my meal, but that's my Hispanic talking. But it's really good. Um, what I suggest, uh, I can't go in there because it's closed right now, but so you can see in there. And that's the menu. It's a mix of Chinese. Uh, it's a. It's not a mix, but it's you have a choice of Chinese or Mexican. You can mix it all up if you want. This is included with your meal. Um, talking about meals, I do suggest doing my time because my time you can set up anytime you want to go eat to these things. I know a lot of us are used to doing. Um, what do they call that? Not the my time, but when you're scheduled for your uh, your meals um, I think my time is the best time especially for the XL ships over here are the Havana sweets I can't come in here because I don't have the wristband but these are your Havana sweets um, over there you also have the Havana area like uh, I'll just walk over so you can see it so wristband is but the Havana so you can walk through there they have their own jacuzzis, all that junk. Um, if you're gonna ask my opinion, I might as well just say it. I'm not a big fan of it. it it's a nice concept, but I'm not a big fan of it because, um, oh, sorry. I'm not a big fan of it because, um, what was I gonna say? The rooms, when you have the balcony rooms, they, um, People can walk in front of the balcony rooms and it's not that cool. So I'm not a big fan of that. And I apologize for that. I'm trying to plug up my extended charger for it. Ooh. So I'm gonna go one down floor. I'm going down to the seventh floor or deck seven. Sorry, I had to uh, plug up my charger. Deck seven. I am in the front part of the ship. You have the Express Casino. You have your left and right side of it. I'm on the right hand side of it. Um, you have your smoking and your non-smoking. The non-smoking, I think, is on the left hand. The right hand side is the smoking. Or they have it, whatever. There's a part of the casino where it doesn't smell like smoking. So if you're not into smoking, it smells great. But if you're not, then I can't show footage. Over here is the Grand Spectrum Theater. So what you're gonna notice about that, oh, they have the, uh, they have the platinum and diamond and platinum reunion, so I shouldn't be walking in here, but whatever. I'll just show you the size of this thing. The reason why this is small is because they have two um, theaters. So there's two theaters to this. So that's why. And I'll go to the other side and show you the uh, other side of the theater. This gentleman is always festive on the ships. I hope he doesn't mind me putting him on video. Not at all. But this gentleman is great, very festive. Who's <laughs> on? Thank you, sir. You got it, bro. <laughs> so I kind of just walked into the. Uh, <laughs> A diamond and platinum uh, so I'm gonna show you the other side so I don't want to walk in because diamond and platinum like I said I cannot walk in to the casino because I do have the camera on and you know, that's what it looks like over there what's up man how are you guys doing no, I'm good I'm good <laughs> I tell you these crews are awesome the, the the guys who work here ladies and gents that work here are awesome and this is the other side of the uh, theater it's about you this is our way of acknowledging your loyalty, of saying thank you, of saying welcome back. So as I bring them out on the stage, please do give them a round of applause. I'm honored that they So that's Lee, our cruise director over there. Busy guy. Been working hard. So I'm going to stop the video for a second because I can't walk through the casino with the uh, camera on. But I'll walk towards the left. I am still in the aft portion. The aft, sorry, what the heck am I saying? Forward, forward portion of the ship. And I gotta turn off the camera. As I walk out of the Empress Casino, because I can't film in there, I am on the starboard side. Yeah, starboard side. Oh, wait. Yeah, starboard side. Um, and I'm, once again, I'm walking through the central theater. You have one of the bars over here. 
my good friend Tamara, she's not on, but this is the Aqu uh, Aquaria uh, Casino. She's not on shift yet, but come see tomorrow well, if you're on the celebrity. She won't be here for long, but she's on here. And this is the Central Theater. Like I said, I'll talk about it a little bit more when I get to the lower deck. Again, to my right-hand side, I'm walking towards the aft part of the ship. This is the casino. You have your smoking and your non-smoking side. <coughs> and now I am on still on the seventh floor, the seventh deck. This is the seventh deck uh, central elevator bank with a central uh, stairway over here on the starboard side you still see more shops over here the island traders you got the port side port side's got your liquor and your cigarettes you know, all your deals going on right now all your deals going on i am on the seven of course i am coming up Oh, this is the central, central elevator bank, and of course, central stairs. That is not the interest of the limelight, so I'll show you where the interest of the limelight is at. Tons of bathrooms. So, right here to my right hand side, this is the limelight lounge. You'll find the club here, you'll find the comedy club here, and all that stuff over here. Over here, of course, before I forget. My favorite bar, the Alchem Bar. I've got Nicola, short Nicola, working today, and I got uh, Vlad helping him out. The guys working hard. <laughs> and I also have. Oh, he keeps moving. Go say hi to Stefan over there. I got Stefan over here, working hard over here on the uh, Alchemy Bar. I just finished doing the mixology class, so I was doing this earlier today. There's more seating as we walk. All right, so I'm gonna pan over to the left. I'm still walking towards the back of the ship. A little, I'll talk a little more about that floor that's below me, but pay attention to these windows when you're on this ship. Make sure you pay attention to these windows, also the ceiling when you're on this ship. And of course you have tons of seating back here. Does it chill? Do your thing. I'm coming up to Fahrenheit 555. Fahrenheit 555 is your steakhouse, which is not included, but it's extra, which is, for well, the price is not bad. I think it's like 48 bucks. It's a steakhouse. Um, the menu is awesome. I've had it before on other ships, and it's also great. They also have a bar in the front if you want to get some drinks and stuff like that. And I'll show you the menu real quick. This is the Fahrenheit 555. Um, like I said, it's not included. It's like, I think it's 48, but it's, oh my God, the food is great. The steaks are great, everything's great for the price. I mean, you know, I can't beat it. There's another side of the Dream Studio. Take your specialty pictures. And now that I'm on the back of the ship on deck seven, this is the upper of the Festivale. This is the festival. The restaurant this is one of uh, the couple floors of the dining room on the rear. You have it on seven and you have it on six. And then I'll show you the other dining room that we have back there. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the dining room back here. This is just one of the floors of the dining room back here. They're starting to get ready back here because 
done. He starts shortly. Also back here, as I come back, you are going to find the aft or rear um, staircase and elevator bank. There's the aft elevator bank on deck seven. Now I'm gonna go one deck lower. We're gonna go to deck six. And start from the back. So I'm gonna skip this part right here where we're coming up to. I'll talk about it, but I'll just show you the. No, we're gonna go this way now. The tree over there. The sixth floor or sixth deck. Oh, uh, Festival restaurant. They, they called it over the the older ships. That's pretty cool. They just named the restaurants like that. This is the sixth floor. So now, I don't know if I'll be able to come in through there, but on the center bottom of this, let me see if I get back over there. Ah, wait, because they're setting up. But lower on the fifth, that's where they have the chef table. The chef's table. So on the lower level of this is where they're going to have the chef table. And if I'm not correct, uh, oh yeah, I don't know how to get down there. I'm curious to know how you get down there. But the chef's table is actually on the fifth floor below the festival. Now I'm getting into the, well, before I hit the, uh, gateway section this is your uh, aft or um, back stairs and your aft elevators on deck sex and once again when you see tile you're not no longer on a um, cabin level but you're on a level where you have know, different things on so once I'm entering the gateway and we're gonna start with the Carnival's Kitchen. This is where they learn and they try to uh, cook. Rather, there's no class, which is pretty cool that they uh, they do this with a glass. And I think they have an, uh, what I've heard, they have an option where they can take it off or not take it off. But, there we go. And that's your chef table. There's no class going on right now. Next up. Make sure you play with this screen. So, this is a touch screen and it shows you where all the ships are at right now so make sure to mess around with this screen it shows you where all the ships are at locations and stuff like that so do play with it next one so i've heard this is different i haven't been on the mar but this is emerald's bistro um this is not included as part is to eat so you do have to pay extra for it the prices are still not bad i'm gonna walk up to the uh They do serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you get to sit down. Again, with these uh, windows that I was talking about that are up here. I'm not going to give too much of that. I don't want to give too much on them. But they do have shows that happen on these windows. Um, you do want to check it out. Check it out on your hub, on the Carnival Hub, and check it out. They have, and they switch all over the place. They go with music and stuff like that. Next one is the Latitudes Bar. This bar is great. This is my second favorite bar. Um, but it's also hard to decide between the Alchemy. But no, Alchemy is my number one. Latitudes will be number two. This is an awesome bar. Um, it's an international bar. Talks about all the stuff that's going on. I got Natalia walking by me. Oh, hi. Hello. A um, little bit about Natalia. I had her on the Magic back in 2019. She was on the Alchemy Bar great person awesome person but going back to this bar um this is a latitude's bar it's an international bar they've got drinks from around the world it is really good i'm gonna screw this one up but my favorite drink right here is the capri capri uh, the brazilian drink uh, but it's super cool bartenders are awesome here like i said natalia was just right in front of me waving at me super cool um carolina uh, anna Anna is also awesome too, so super cool bar. The other thing I've, um, the other thing you also want to pay attention to is 
up there. Watch that because that always changes. They always change. Even during the shows, it goes through all the changes and stuff like that. So the other thing too about this area is the seating. They've got tons of seating. And of course the Christmas tree because I'm in December. I'm a December cruise, so but tons of seating, good drinks and everything. Good bar to go to, I do. Alright, so I'm not gonna go through here yet, but I'll go through the other side. But again, once again seating. Tons of seating. This area also gives me the Epcot vibes when they start playing the international music. They'll have like Mexico, like you see there, uh, Greece. You'll start hearing like the background music and it sounds like you're like Epcot for some reason, but it's awesome. But it just gives you, you know, you're in a different country type of vibe. Like I said, extra seating back here. Our great performers walking by. More stairs, more stores, 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 stores. Stores, 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 stores. All right, now that I'm at this level, I'm at deck six. Deck six. Oh, they're setting up for the circus. So deck six behind this gentleman who just set up this, right? This is where you walk in on Ebark. Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna be debarkation, uh, debark and embark embarkation. This is where you walk in. Normally, when you walk on a ship, you're used to walking into the atrium. No, you walk into this. So I'm not showing you this during the day. During the day, they have the screens up, so you see outside, there's all windows behind it. But these are the screens. I'll show, I have pictures on my Facebook and stuff like that of everything that's going on. So th this is the central theater. So they have two theaters. That's why the front theater looks small, is because they have two theaters. They have shows going up up there, and they have shows going up here. Um, right now they're setting up, it looks like, um, a Festival of the Nation. Sorry, I said circus. But you have three floors to sit on. You have this floor. And like I said, I was walking up there and you have the other two floors. I mean, look how this place looks. This is amazing. This doesn't give you the feel. To me, it doesn't give me the feel that I'm on a carnival ship anymore. It's a whole different feel. So I'm on deck six, coming up to the cherry on top and the Java blue. Have people dressed up for the holidays. This car right here, which I'm gonna walk around it. I'll come back to it later. But more seating. Like I said cherry on top, I'll pass by it again. Java blue, Java blue is where you get your coffees, your lattes, I'm not a coffee drinker. Your pastries, all that stuff. Also in here, you have the Trop Tropical Bar. Um, another bar that you can get your drinks and stuff like that. And I'll walk by this because I have to come back around this way because I got that, they got the center stage kind of closed off. Coming up to my left is the Piano Bar. Everybody knows the piano bar. They got the guys cleaning inside. Everybody don't want this one. Actually, has a bar in it, and the reason I say that is because I'm gonna walk into the Punch uh, Liner Comedy Club, and that place doesn't. Have, well, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, it's locked, so I can't come in here. So that's your piano bar. Of course, the mural. You'll find the coins that they use for the ship. All the coins, all the ships have the coins and everything. That's your mural for the ship. Right now they're having, looks like karaoke in here, but this is the punchliner, but let me know if you figure out what's wrong with the punchline, uh, the punchline club, except for this guy sleeping in front of me. So 
So if you didn't pick it up, the uh, punch liner doesn't have a bar in it. So they have to get somebody to go far and stuff like that. Now, forward, forward elevators, forward stairs. On here, you're gonna find um, Cloud9. Cloud9 is your spa, salon, thermal suites, all that stuff. On the left hand side of me, you'll find the fitness bar and everything. The fitness bar, that's gonna be fitness bar. The fitness set in there. Let's see if I can walk to there. But like I said, this is a Cloud9. Little secret entrance to the Grand Spectrum Theater. This is the lower level of the Spectrum Theater, and you'll find that. And over here is where you'll find the spa nine. I don't want to walk in because they've got stuff going on. So that's where you find the entrance for that. And this is the fitness center. If you need to work out, bunch of machines. So now I'm starting to walk towards the back of the ship back again. Again, in front of me, you'll find the uh, Carnival Celebration. Those are the coins and stuff like that. When we get to Jubilee Bar, and I'll show you, there's going to be something cool that I want you guys to look down to and see all the ships that you've been about. I'll show you that afterwards. But again... That's Carnival Celebration. The coins they use. Again, I couldn't come into the piano bar. Let me see if I'm able to. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, sorry. So is your piano bar here? This one does have a bar in it. I like the punch liner. Punch liner needs a bar. But this has the bar in it. And now I'm walking to towards the back or aft side of the ship. Copyright music, copyright music. Again, the Java, Java Blue. Pretty big, the Java Blue Cafe. Your coffees, your pastries, and stuff like that. You can grab my, if you have the drink package, it is included. So, drink package, this is included. So, again with, uh, oh, wait, before I say that, then you have your cherry on top. These are your sweets, your candies, all that stuff. Excuse all the uh, noise in the background. There's a concert going behind me. So this car, a lot of people have been asking about this car. What is this car? What's this car? So this actually came off the Ecstasy. Uh, fortunately, the Ecstasy is with us no more. Um, but this one, they took it off the Ecstasy and they actually transferred it over here to the Celebration commemorate you know all the ships i've been through but this is um this car used to be on the carnival ecstasy full design for christmas now i'm coming into the golden jubilee there's another bar so this bar celebrates the uh the different ships you know the years of carnival so you'll have drinks from uh days past um uh, back in the days when the mardi first mardi gras uh the festivale the uh, jubilee all these original ships that carnival started with back in the 70s uh, early 80s um this is the bar for it and they have all these drinks here it's a pretty good thing over here it's part of the jubilee bar too um, the, the Golden Jubilee, excuse me. 
have piano, they have like musicians playing here and stuff like that, so you can listen to music and stuff like that. Now, coming over here, I have a huge display of the ship. Well, I'll just walk through it. But for those who have sailed on Carnival, what I want you to do when you come to this, uh, if, you, if you're able to come on this ship, come over to the Jubilee Bar, and I want you to look towards the floor. On the floor, you're gonna find coins. Big, not coins, but big medallions. And they're the medallions from each ship. And you can see the medallions from each ship on the floor. All the way from of course, the carnival celebration, which is that one, you might not be able to see it. All the way, if I walk over here. To the carnival Mardi, the original carnival Mardi Gras, which is found right there. This is actually, you can play with it. It actually, um, it moves. Um, I forgot, they had an explanation about this, but I totally forgot what ship it came off from. But it wasn't one of Carnival's. It was just one of these older ships that they are. But you can, you can mess with it. Another restaurant that they have on here is called the Carnivale Restaurant. And another restaurant that they have here. It's a huge ship, so there's a lot of people. And again, if I walk through here, I just walk through here. This is deck six. And there's more seating. And then that's it, because below me, deck five, it's just all rooms and everything. Deck four is also more rooms. And I'll leave you guys off here. Um, if you have any questions, answers, anything like that, want to know more about the carnival celebration, let me know. Um, like I said, I'm in a balcony, uh, balcony room. So if you need any more information about the balcony room, let me know. And if I can answer your questions, that'd be awesome. Um, this is Carnival Celebration's uh, fourth cruise. So I'm on the fourth sailing. Um, since it, you know, since it first started with the transatlantic from uh, London um, over here to Miami. Thank you guys.